Hello, everybody. Um, I'm back again, Jacqueline Strazula, Director of Product Programs for Nine Pen Pathways. And I'm here with my friend, Shelly Rosa from Little Brownie Bakers. Hey, Shelly. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm excited because we are going to talk about the initial order process, which is this is the fun part of the sale to me. <laughs> this is this is the this is like where the fun really happens, and troops get to see the cookie numbers come in and how it really affects their troop. So I'm going to let you take it away and talk about the initial order process. Okay, so we all know we're going to be talking about initial order. So first thing that we need to know um, is that. All initial orders or all orders have to be submitted by 3 p.m. That's the deadline. It used to be midnight, but people don't want to work and stay up until midnight. So um, we made that deadline at 3 p.m. So just note that, that all orders have to be submitted by 3 p.m. So let's talk a little bit what you'll see on that initial order tab. So this is the initial order tab. You're gonna see your girls listed. You're gonna see their order card order. That's where what you as a troop leader are gonna enter. And there's something new this year that we'll talk about in just, just a second. You'll also see those DOC or those digital girl delivered orders come in. So if a girl has placed orders through Digital Cookie, they're going to come over into eBuddy automatically only in the initial order phase and order by the package. Um, we'll talk about what happens after this initial order phase with those cookies in, in a later video. So we're going to have the order card. We're going to have the girl delivered. So how do you enter a, um, an order? We're gonna go, we're gonna click on a girl and this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a list of the cookies. And if you note that red box and that's kind of that um, push out that is also there on that page. This is a new feature this year. Parents can go into digital cookie and enter their girls order card orders. So those orders that they have from you know, going around to their neighborhood or, you know, mom took it to work and, you know, any of those order card orders, mom can now enter that information into eBuddy. And this little red box and what you'll see, that's to let you know as a troop leader that a parent has entered that information into eBuddy. So, Shelly, I'm just going to make yep. a correction that the caregiver puts it in digital cookie, oh, not in Yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, caregiver into digital cookie. Oh my gosh, why, why is this moving? So I, I want to back up one slide. You'll see this red needs review. That means a parent has entered or a caregiver has entered a, a, a order card order into digital cookie. So once you do that, um, let's say we see that in the gray and it will always stay gray so that you know what the parent entered because once the caregiver enters an order, they can't do anything more in there. They can't go back and change it. It locks them out for the rest of the initial period that they can't go in and add any more to that order. But what they can do is call you. And this is where you can go in and make changes. So you'll see the gray part and you can change these numbers on the right hand side to reflect maybe an additional order that came in. You know, um, you know, somebody came in instead of four tree foils, you need six or eight, whatever that is, you can make those adjustments from by just clicking on the girl and then um just making that update. Once you hit save, you can go back until that initial um, order period is over for you, for you as a troop leader. So really quick, Shelly, just to reiterate mm -hmm. it, a caregiver new this year, which is really exciting, a caregiver mm -hmm. can enter in their Girl Scouts order form orders into Digital Cookie directly. Correct. And that shows up in the gray section, but do have highlighted red. Mm -hmm. And then after the caregiver puts in that order, they are locked out from doing any adjustments at that time. Correct. And then if they have any adjustments to their order card order, 
they can contact their troop cookie manager and the troop cookie manager will be able to adjust it up until the time they hit submit. Correct. Great. Excellent. Correct. Thank you, Shelly. You're welcome. So now we've got all of the, all the girl orders are in and now we're going to think about, you know, do I want to enter, do I want to add cookies for a booth sale um, or just have some extra cookies on hand? You can do that in this booth or other line. I would suggest using the booth line because then you know exactly what those cookies are for. Um, and it shows what you did last year. So in this case, if you look at the booth, it says last year booth and it shows you the order that was ordered um, last season for booth sales. And then the line above that is what you're ordering this year. So maybe you way, you know, you over ordered or you under ordered. This is where you can make adjustments by being able to see what you ordered last year. Just on a side note as well, that extras line that you see, eBuddy will automatically round up to the nearest case. So a case is 12 packages of cookies. So if, if you have, um, you know, seven, you're going to have four extra packages in that case that need to be sold. You can use those cookies any way that you want to. You can use them for a booth sale. You can use them to fulfill any girl delivered orders that came in through digital after the initial order period. Those are your cookies. Um, you do own them and you can use them um, at a later date as you see fit. You could use them for a troop gift of caring program. You know, there's a lot of different ways that you can use those cookies to get them sold. So let's and, just do a quick little math here. So I'm just so that I'm looking at it. Yep. We have 113 packages that are ordered for this first variety, correct? Correct. So we have, a, that means that those are actual claimed orders of cookies. So we do that 113 divided by 12 packages per case. Um, it's around nine cases of sold cookies or claimed cookies, which leaves about seven unsold cookies, packages of cookies. So that's Correct. just a quick way to double check the math. But yep. this group will actually receive the item, the cookies in that cases to order row. So this troop will have 181 cases of cookies on pickup day. Correct. Correct. <clears throat> and that's all I have for initial order. Um, I will send it back to you, Jacqueline. Great. Um, so after you are processing your cookie order, you are going to go to the rewards tab and submit any rewards that your girls have earned. Um, and if there's a size that needs to be selected, remember to select the size for the girl at that time, if it's applicable for the season. Um, and even if your girls did not earn any rewards, you still have to submit those rewards. And after that, you are completely done. Um, your coordinator will reach out to you as to when and where to pick up your cookie order. Rewards for the initial order should come shortly after delivery week. So if you have any other questions, feel free to email us at info at gsnipen.org, or you can always reach out to your cookie coordinator. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks.